Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this stock bracket. So what we will do is create all the parts then put it together in an assembly. So to start click on new, part file, ok. And the unit is going to be in inches. So make sure your unit, so if you go to options and under document properties you want to make sure that your unit is in inch. And I'm going to change my unit to uh, three three decimal places. So my unit, make sure this is on three. Okay. So now we want to start. So click on the sketch. Don't click on any plane. Just click on the sketch. So that gives you all the planes. Looking at this view over here, we want to start with this base, this stock uh, support base. So we are going to start from the front plane. So click the front plane. We are on the front plane now. So just draw a, a line like this. Uh, let me zoom in somewhere. Okay, something, a line like this. Yeah, so once you have a line like this, click on this line, make this a construction line. Make sure this line is horizontal and all you need to do is add your dimension from here to here is going to be 5.5 and that is over here and um, and please verify these dimensions that I'm, I didn't make any mistake on any of them. This is 0 0.375 um, from here to here is 12.25 and the dimension for this is 1 and from here to here is 13 and from this line to this center line so anytime you have a center line and you have a line if you click the line to the center line and you just bring your dimension over here it's going to give you the diameter. That's how I'm getting the diameter. So make sure you are dimensioning to the center line. That's how you get the diameter. So this line is 17. And once your sketch is fully defined, you can close it off. And feature, revolve, 360, and OK. So next, we are going to click on this face, sketch number two and draw a circle something like this that is starting from the origin point and dimension that circle to be 15 and if you look here that is that dimension and you are going to make that circle a construction line and just draw this slot just draw that over here something coming this way for now so click over here and just draw something like that and make this point and the origin point coincident with each other and the dimension for this is going to be 0.75 and and this point and this your circle make it coincident so that point make sure that point is on that circle so your sketch is fully defined one thing I want to point out here is this dimension is wrong on the drawing. You see over here they're giving you a radius of, of 0.75 and over here they are giving you a counter ball diameter of 1.75. Well that if you add this 0.75 together I they believe that gives you 1.5 and this counter ball is 1.75 so that is bigger than this uh, which I don't I, I don't think this part is cutting out of that part. So for this counter ball, I'm just going to use a different dimension. So please verify with your professor um, because this is wrong on the drawing. It is wrong. So uh, feature and extrude and you extruding it up and you extruding it up. The full distance is 1.5 minus 1. So that will be 0.5 and click OK. Okay, good. 
so the next thing we want to do is click on the whole wizard and click on the first counter ball hole and place the position so I'll just normal to you want to place your O on this face and you just want to click anywhere over there for now and click this point and click this edge and you want to make it called centric good so that's fully defined we go back to the type for the type we are just going to use custom sizing and you want to over here that is the ball through um, and the diameter is 0.875 and this is the one that I said was wrong. See over here they said this is uh, 1.75 but once I do 1.75 watch what's going to happen. 1.75. You see how that is bigger than this? So that's how I believe is wrong because I actually don't think that is cutting out of that. Uh, please from this picture over here I don't think it's cutting out. So for that one I just made my 1.25. I click somewhere in here 1.25 and they also didn't give you the distance down so we'll make it 0.1 so verify this dimension with your professor that's the first thing I want you to do and I believe this part and the up to next yes this you want to have it up to next so it's taken out at the bottom and click OK Um, so the near cutter sink, I think I have something on um, so I don't need that one So I'm just going to make sure this is on check or you just need this one and click OK Good, so now um, I'm going to do the circular pattern circular pattern um, the, For your perimeter select any circular edge and the features we want to pattern uh, if you click on this drop down at this extrude boss and the counter ball we just did uh, click OK good so um, make sure that one I didn't change my number so this should be 3 so the circular pattern because it's right here 3 um, so change back edit it and change your number to 3 good so now on the front plane again um, we are going to just draw a sketch uh, number two and draw a circle over here something like that and make sure the center point of that circle and the origin point is vertical then the dimension from here to the center point of that circle is 1.25 and it is right here 1.25 and and click OK and the diameter for this circle is 1.5 and that is right here and once you have that feature extrude by the mid plane uh, you want to extrude it 10.25 and that is over here 10.25 and click OK good so now click on any of this face it doesn't matter so where's my front plane actually let me go to my front plane so if you go on your front plane click on this face and sketch um, number two and just draw a circle something over here just something like this for now and bring this circle down a little bit so the top part is kind of slightly touching that make sure your center point and your origin point is vertical and click this circle and click this other edge and I'm going to improve my image quality because that's when that stuff starts getting jagged okay all right now so I'm going to select this edge and this circle and make them tangent to each other make sure you move it close to each other and when you're selecting the circle to be tangent make sure you're selecting both circles at the top because if you try to make it tangent it might make it tangent at the bottom so make sure you're selecting everything at the top so now we're going to change the dimension for this uh, to 1.75 and we're just going to feature extrude and we want to extrude it 
let's change the unit first. So I want to extrude it 0.375 uh, in the other opposite direction. So 0.375 and click OK. So now we are just going to mirror about the the um, front plane and feature we want to mirror this extrude bus and click OK. So next click on the front plane and sketch number two and just draw a line going up something like that. Uh, make sure your line is on the origin point and is vertical and is touching the top edge and we're just going to draw the shape first so I'm going to section this so you see what's going on so I'm going to section and we're just going to draw the shapes first so the shape goes something like this have a line coming down we have a line um, this line is at an angle and we have another line coming down so you have this line this a shape like this called close your sketch uh, I think I have an extra line over here so I'm just going to delete that line so yes you have something like this make this a construction line and let's just start adding the end this is vertical make sure that line is vertical so we're just going to start in our dimension from here to here is 3.01 um, what else can we add from this point to that is 4.25 and from the bottom from the bottom face to this edge is 3.25 and so click on the first one the first revolve and show your sketch so we have the sketch shown so this line and this line are parallel to each other and the dimension between them is um, 0.625 and all we need to do now is add a fillet so we add it click on your fillet click this point add a fillet to it and your fillet size should be 0.5 and click OK and now you want a dimension from this point because I believe that's where that's going to from this point to your center line and that should be 4.75 so now our sketch is fully defined you can hide this sketch because you don't need it so you should have something like this and bring them bring that down you should have something like this I'm going to close this off and feature revolve cut uh, revolve cut and I believe something is it should be right I mean it is right so oh yeah see because it wasn't revolving I know something was wrong see I have an extra line over here so make sure you check your work sometimes those extra line always pop up make sure you delete them if you have any so now if I revolve cut it should give me that good so revolve cut 360 and click OK good so while we are still in that section we can just like the front plane um, sketch and now we just want to we're just sketching on the front plane uh, just draw a rectangle it doesn't uh, I'm not going to use a center rectangle so I'm just going to use the corner the corner so just draw something like this over here and now add your dimension um, make this a center line construction line and add a dimension from here to here is going to be 1.5 and I believe it's right here 1.5 and from this point to this edge is going to be 4.5 so don't dimension from the center line to that edge because it's going to keep giving you the dimension make sure you dimension from the point to the edge 4.5 and 
from this back edge to the origin point that is going to be 4.125 and the, the full length of this is 1.625 and my sketch is fully defined close it off and feature revolve cut I mean not revolve cut Sec revolve circular revolve that and click OK good so while we are on the front plane again so before you can click this sec revolve we just did and show that sketch for now and on the front plane um, sketch and we want to draw another rectangle over here make sure this rectangle and this point and that point put them vertical because the center line of these two are the same which is right here and now once we have that we can um, just make that a construction line and from this line to that line uh, let's make that 0.5 it doesn't really matter from here to here um, 1.6 that doesn't really matter we just want it sticking out of that part and the only dimension that matter is this one and this is going to be 0.5 and now we are just going to to um, select uh, close off that sketch and feature revolve cut and click OK good so now close this hide this sketch we don't need it anymore and um, we can unsection it so now on this uh, we want to select the whole wizard position um, select this face and drop your point and I'm just going to go normal too and click that point and click the the edge of those circle and make it concentric so that circle is centered on this but extrude bus so now click OK and now we are going to go to the type and for the type select this second one um, yeah I'm just going to select that and the number you want over here is going to be so we have uh, ANSI inch um, let's do tap O and the closest one to that is this 511 over here 5 8 by 11 so make sure your show custom size and is checked and on that that one we are just going to type point um, 625 and for this is going to be up to next and that's what you should have and once you once you have this select OK good so we pretty much done with this part all we need to do is add our fillet uh, first fillet is 0.125 um, and I believe it goes on this edge um, let's try selecting fillet 0.125 let's try selecting this face yes it goes on that face then this face this face in this example the face is easier to select um no it doesn't go on the face so let's not this face um, because it, this the fillet is not on that edge so that's why we can't select that face so on select the face and you want to select the edge so it goes on that edge and it goes on this edge so that edge and this edge because we don't want to fill it on that counter ball and that edge and this edge so we have all that uh, it goes over here too and on the back side and it also goes over here so I believe that's all the places we need those fillet and click OK So we're going to add the second fillet. Uh, it's 0.38, and it goes on this back edge, 
in this package and click OK. And the third fillet, um, which is not really in the on the drawing, but I'm just because if you look over here, this does have a fillet on it. So that I just made it point one. So verify this with your professor and whatever your professor say, just um, change the fillet size. So point one. not on that packet so point one so point one on this two edge and point one over here and click ok and we are done with this part so just um what you need to do now is just save it so i'm just gonna click save browse to my desktop i'm just gonna create a new folder and call the folder um um, whatever this I forgot the drawing name of this drawing but call it whatever it is and in that folder for this part we want to save it as the stock stock support base so save it as that stock support base. and click save so this part is done and we are moving on to the next part um, so new part and okay so click on the front plane and sketch and for this one we are drawing this other second part so just draw a corner rectangle at the origin point something like that and this make this line a construction line and dimension from here to here is 3.5 .3 and this dimension is 0.25 and close off this sketch and I have extra line down there again because sometimes those lines just pop up and then I'm just going to feature revolve um, 360 and click OK So now, um, show that sketch for that first revolve cut. Then all we need to do is on the front plane again, sketch. Then just draw a line from here to here. And the line is going up like that. Something coming up and something like coming up. So something like that. And draw a line from the origin point going up click this point and click this line and add a midpoint relation to it so that means this now is now on the same midpoint and I'm going to make this line a construction line and the dimensions are from this point to the bottom edge is going to be 7.38 So not 7.3, so it's going to 7.375, 7.375, and the dimension up here is going to be 13.125, 13.125, and let me change my units to three decimal places so that way you see the actual, I don't know, this stuff was on three, I don't know why it keeps putting it at two. So units uh, three, okay, all right. And so we have this dimension. So what we want to do now is add a fillet over here to, at this point. And the fillet size is going to be 1.25 and click okay. And we want to dimension from this fillet, the center point of the fillet to the bottom line and that is should be 2.25 2.25 and now what we need to do is select mirror entity and the entities we want to mirror this 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 and that line in here about this line and click OK so we have a fully defined sketch we want to feature extrude it by the mid plane four and okay. Okay.
okay so we can hide this sketch now we don't need it so by the front plane again um, sketch number two we want to draw a line from th the line is just coming over here from the uh, from this top edge which is the if you select that you should get that orange and make sure but you can also make the line and the origin point vertical to each other so make sure the line is on this edge though and now the line is coming out and it just goes something like that draw another line at the top draw another line from the origin from this point up the line is vertical and now click this point and this center and add a midpoint relation and good so the line is coincident to this edge and now just draw something like that make sure these two lines are touching I'm going to delete the extra line these two lines are touching and now we are going to this the dimension is not given over here so we're just going to make something up that is relatively close to this picture ask your professor again what dimension you should use over here so i'm going to make this a construction line and add a dimension from here angle which is 12 and um, fillet the fillet over here is point 2.18 2.18 and click OK and what we want to do is just dimension from the top edge to this line which should be 1.75 so these are the two dimension I made so again check with your professor and see what he wants and I'm just going to mirror entity um, entities to mirror this line is three about this line and click OK I have a fully defined sketch and I'm just going to extrude it feature extrude um, by the mid plane um, that's going to be one and click OK okay so click this face sketch it doesn't matter you can click any of the face just make just make sure it's this face um, sketch um, in your sketch mode just draw a line from this point to this this edge over here with this line and draw something another line kind of going up like that and like that um, so this line add a center line from here to here from the make sure the center line is on the origin point so just make it's a vertical line and I'm just going to drag it up till it touches that edge and make this a construction line Let me zoom in and the dimension from this edge to that edge is um, to the center line is 3.25 3.25 I have a fully defined sketch feature extrude cut and I want to do up to next and click OK and I want to mirror this on this side so mirror um, about the front plane and the feature to mirror is that and click OK let me zoom in so you see and click OK So now what we want to do is add a fillet. Um, the fillet size is 0.75 um, to this edge and this edge and click OK. And add another fillet uh, which is 0.25 um, to this edge. So it's, uh, just clip, keep selecting all that edge until Pretty much all this edge has all this edge has been selected so you want to add it to um, this edge and there and there's one more um, and just select this line did I select the wrong thing now 
um, I'm going to select delete this one something is breaking so it should give me all the fillet so let me oh okay let me select this maybe if I select everything it should come back on and you know what I'm going to cancel that and do it again so I'm going to select fillet um, 0.25 to this edge and I'm just gonna keep selecting it and if anything breaks I'll just apply it in two in two steps so this edge that one and that one there you go it worked this time I'm not sure what happened that first time so and click OK so now um, select the right plane so you should have that and sketch number two and we want to draw this center slot again something like that make this top part of it coincident with that top part well before you do that make sure this point and your origin point are vertical to each other and now make this top part coincident with that top part um, the distance from here to here is 1.5 which is what is given over here 1.5 and from this center point to the bottom edge is 6.5 so so from here to here uh, 6.5 and once you have that, you just do feature, extrude, cut, and through all, both, and click OK. Good. So now, um, click on the front plane, number two, and um, sketch. And I'm just going to section this for now. And we want to draw a line. Um, draw a line from the origin point up somewhere over here and draw another line up so you have something like this and make sure this line is coincident with that and these two lines make them construction line and from this point draw another line coming out um, so this line goes something like that and I'm just going to delete this line I just drew uh, if I can select that delete delete and make sure the line is not coincident with anything so um, just draw it, something like that make sure this line is not coincident with anything and we are going to add a dimension from here to this center line is going to be um, 10.1.25 and this, I believe this dimension, this from this point to this point, um, to this line, this dimension to this line, that should be easier. So from that point to that line is 0 0.25. And um, from this line to this point is, um, Point one two five. Not one point. Not point. Not one point two five is point one two five. Point one two five. And what else do we need? And from this line to this bottom edge is um, two point five. So my sketch is fully defined, and this is what I have. And just to zoom in, and go to mirror entity. Entities to mirror this line, this line, that line, and that line. About this line. Um, no, delete that line. About mirror about this line, and click OK. And everything is fully defined. Oh, I forgot one more line, but it's okay. I can just add it up here. So everything have all that, and now feature extrude cut and 
true or both and click OK. Yeah. So um, now we're just going to add a fillet here. I believe there's a fillet there. It doesn't give you the size, but uh, fillet. Check with your instructor with this one too. It's um, 0.125. And I'm just going to click this bottom edge and this bottom edge. Good. And back here, there's also a fillet which doesn't give you the fillet size. But I believe this is 0.25. So, um, 0.25, so what we're going to do is fill it, um, 0.25, and select this edge, that edge, this edge, this edge, and the same thing on this side, this edge there here and here not the face but any edge um, yes once you have this and click OK so fill it again and the fillet is 0.25 and you want to apply it to this edge over here and click OK right. so now click on this top face um sketch number two um draw a circle on the origin point and this is going to be two and feature and feature extra cut up to next and let's make sure we have yeah that is two right here up to next and click ok and now the last feature for this on the right plane so on the right plane over here um, sketch number two and draw a line um, just something like this I'll delete that line make sure the line is not coincident with anything just draw a line like this um, this line so the origin point is 1.25 make that line a center line and let's just now make this line coincident with this edge so we have something like that and um, now draw a line coming up let me section it so you see what we are doing uh, section it about this plane okay so now draw a line coming up and going down this way is at an angle and coming down touching that so and this line this is the um, for the dial pin so so the center point is going to be 0.492 and over here it is going to be from here to here it's going to be 0.409 and we have a fully defined so sketch so close it off and feature revolve cut about the center axis and click OK um, what is going on uh, it's select OK so just select OK on that and it should have you should have your revolve cut so oh I know what's going on because of my sometimes when you do a revolve cut that's what happens so I'm just going to edit that sketch uh, number two maybe my circle is not fully on that edge I mean my line is not fully on that I delete this and oh my line is not a vertical line make sure your line is a vertical line there you go so um, because my line wasn't a vertical line that's why I was getting that error so now if I close that um, see everything should be fully cut um, and this part is done save it uh, so save it in the same folder as the other one as support 
so put um, ruler bracket and save okay and we are moving on to the next part